With the second closed beta test underway, I've created this simple, easy to understand guide to Honkai Star Rail. This is especially great for Genshin players who are new to the Honkai series. I'm Ufi, and I'm so glad you're here. Let's start with something you're familiar with. Each playable character is assigned an element, and their attacks and skills using elemental damage. Like Genshin Impact, there are seven elements. Physical, Fire, Ice, Lightning, Wind, Imaginary, and Quantum. If you've never played Honkai before, you're probably not familiar with the last two. These are two of the elements that are in Honkai Impact 3rd. Imaginary and Quantum are more concepts rather than physical elements. Think creation and destruction. Imaginary is a term derived from the imaginary tree, which holds the entire multiverse. It's responsible for the creation of most universes, and from it comes the imaginary element. I'll be making a video about the imaginary tree later. Quantum, on the other hand, originates from the sea of quanta. Think of the abyss from Genshin, which is a vast, probably infinite space that exists outside the realm of the tree, and it slowly decays and destroys whatever finds its way into it. And there's your seven elements of Honkai Star Rail. Defeat your enemies by using corresponding elements to break their shields and achieve victory. The enemy's HP bar will show which elements they are weak to. The character building in Star Rail is very similar to Genshin Impact, except for a few things. By the way, if you're finding this helpful and want more content like this, please give a like and consider subscribing as it really helps the small channel grow. Anyways, the character building in Star Rail looks complicated, but it's actually very easy to understand. We have your main character level, like Genshin, where you use XP books to level them up and ascend them. Then we have the three skills, like the talents in Genshin, the normal attack, the skill attack, and the ultimate. Once your character is at Ascension 1, you can start to level up your talents as well. Unlike Genshin, you have options. After Ascension 5, when leveling up a skill, you will have three options to choose from. You can also level up your passive talent too. Now, we also have passive talents just like Genshin, but since this is a turn-based game, these function a bit differently. The Technique is a passive skill that happens when you use that character's Open World E skill to start a battle. For example, if you use March 7th E skill when initiating battle, the enemy will be frozen when the battle starts. So you will want to compare the techniques to decide which character to start battles with to gain an advantage. Now, you Genshin players should know about artifacts by now, or at least I hope you do. But yes, there are artifacts, except now they're called relics and have three set bonuses. Yes, finally, a five piece set bonus. Just like in Genshin, when you summon for a character and get one you already have, you'll get a constellation of that character. Except in Honkai Star Rail, it's called an Eidolon instead of constellation. Okay, now in Genshin and Honkai, you roll in the gacha banners for weapons. However, for Honkai Star Rail, you'll be pulling for light cones instead of weapons. Think of light cones as an artifact for a specific class or path. I'll get to the paths later. You equip only one, like a weapon, and you level it up and refine it, just like in Genshin. Just like the weapons in Genshin, every light cone will have its own stats and bonuses that upgrade with every level and refinement. And refinement is just called superimpose. So, the paths. Think of these as classes or playstyles. We have healers, single target damage dealers, multi target damage dealers, shielders, buffers, and lots more. Each character is assigned a path. For example, Natasha is on the path of fertility, which means she's a healer and her skills will be centered around healing allies. There are 14 paths right now, but I suspect they'll be adding more. Each path corresponds with a specific Aeon, which are the godlike beings in Star Rail, each with their own values and beliefs but for the sake of time, I'll be making a video about that later. I really hope this helped explain a little bit how the characters are set up in this new Hoyoverse game. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and hit that subscribe button to help grow my little channel. I hope you have a fantastic day and thank you so, so, so much for watching.